Wow, really? I worry about people with disabilities, seniors. This is just the reality of the way the company's going in the future. Never mind ringing twice, the postman won't even come to your door anymore. Canada Post eliminating residential delivery. I'm Stephanie Sherlock. Seniors in the area are concerned about transitioning from home delivery to this type of mailbox. I'll tell you why, coming up. Also tonight, he gets credit with turning the team around and was named the BCHL Coach of the Year. So why did the Grizzlies fire Bill Bestwick? Temperatures are on the rebound as we get ready for gray wet and in some cases windy weather. I'll have your full forecast coming up. CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Canada Post is phasing out a mainstay in communities across the country. Within five years, you will find yourself without a mailman. Instead of letter carriers coming to your door, you'll be picking up your own mail at a neighborhood post box. And the price of a stamp is going to go up, way up, as the cash-strapped Crown Corporation struggles to stay relevant in an increasingly online world. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. He joins us now live with the tales. Chandler. Hudson, the letter carrier has survived the invention of the guard dog, the long, sprawling driveways, and the cold Canadian winters. But the mailman has finally met his match, technology. It is a day that may have been inevitable. When the computers came in, everything's going to change. I knew that. The letter carrier, as we have come to know it in Canada, is on its way out. This morning, Canada Post announced it will be phasing out door-to-door -door delivery in urban areas. Disheartening. It really is disheartening for a lot of us, and I'm not the only one that thinks this. From your perspective at home, it means picking up your own mail from a community mailbox. Everybody likes to have it right to their door and getting out to get it. Nobody wants to do that. It's so much easier just to sit back and put your feet up. From a postal worker's perspective, it means more than 8,000 jobs will be lost. This was something that's coming. We've seen, you know, the changes of electronic communication over the years, so uh, maybe it's not a huge surprise. Oh, it's a huge morale killer. Like, I know today it's like, really? You want me to do, you know, go above and beyond? And this is, you've already told me you're getting rid of half of, or a bunch of us, and now you want me to do more? Like, come on. Along with ending door-to-door -door service over the next five years, Canada Post is also raising the price of an individual stamp from 63 cents to a dollar. Roughly 8,000 letter carrier positions will be eliminated, but Canada Post says most of those will be through retirees. Victoria's local postal workers union says it was blindsided. Oh my goodness, it's like, wow, really? Like, that's so drastic, you know? Like... And it's shocking, like, just, that's our business, is delivery, and then to get rid of delivery, like, door to door. Drastic, but maybe necessary. Canada Post predicted it would lose a billion dollars every year by 2020 if it continued with the current business model. The company says it can save roughly $500 million a year by eliminating door to door service. The reaction on the streets of Victoria is mixed. You know, I was mailing in uh, payments, you know, using letters, and I just use the bank now. So. Communities have that situation with a common mailbox, and it's okay with me. The elimination of door-to-door -door delivery is expected to affect one in three Canadians. Although most new housing developments already have the communal boxes in place, the announcement comes at one of the busiest times of the year for the company, with postal workers scrambling to ensure Christmas packages arrive in time for the holidays. Now, currently, Canadian taxpayers pay $0 when it comes to helping subsidize Canada Post. And today, the Liberal leader, Justin Trudeau, jumped all over the Conservatives for allowing Canada Post to fall into such financial disarray. He also added that uh, a financial mess is not a reason to shut down a service that many Canadians have depended on for many years. So, Hudson, it will be interesting to see how this all plays out and if the public demands that the uh, mail service be delivered to each house. Uh, it's interesting to see how many people still use use mail and if it's uh, still relevant in this online age. We'll find out. For sure. All right, Chandler Grieve reporting. Chandler, thanks. You're welcome. So uh, how about you? Will you miss mail delivery to your door? Some people say they won't. Some uh, don't miss it right now. But many others will. Seniors are worried about how they will access these new mega mailboxes, and they wonder what else those who have no family or may have limited mobility will lose. CTV Stephanie Sherlock has that part of the story.
Changes to Canada Post are not sitting well with seniors. The uh, phasing out of home delivery is a very sad uh, decision by Canada Post. Well, I take a dim view of it, actually. I think it's very poor. Really atrocious. Some are saying the demise of door-to-door -door mail delivery is not just an inconvenience, it's a source of real concern. The mailman sometimes is the one who says, I haven't seen any movement at the house, the mail's piled up, there's newspapers there, should somebody be checking on them? So that's another little service that's gone by the way, and it's, I don't think it's right. For many aging Canadians, daily visits from the letter carrier are something of a lifeline. Shut-ins, how do they get their mail if they can't get out and there's no more home delivery? Has there been any thought to that? And what about those with mobility issues? So what happens to the people who have to go out in terrible weather, snowy weather, rainy weather, to go to a, a local box to pick up their mail? I think it's very unfair. At New Horizons Senior Centre in James Bay, they oh, wonder okay. if the government considered <laughs> seniors at all when making the decision, and they aren't alone. When we're talking about seniors that are trying to get their mail in the middle of winter, I, I think there's no doubt that these service cuts will have a profound impact. Canada Post points to the rise of the internet for the demise of postal service. Seniors advocates say expecting all older adults to become internet savvy in response is unrealistic. Uh, to say, well, now simply they can just, uh, you know, go online and pay their bills and get their bills and so on is, is not within uh, today's seniors' uh, lifestyle. That expectation also raises issues for the physically and developmentally disabled. That is a confusing issue for many of the people we support. They don't have money, so they don't have computers, so they are really reliant on the hard copies of things. Many seniors say they hope Canada Post reconsiders or at least finds a way to continue to provide some kind of home service to those who need it most. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now outside the downtown post office with more. Stephanie, uh, were seniors and people with mobility issues uh, really shocked by today's announcement? Well, Hudson, the writing may have been on the wall or rather the computer screen for most of us, but the people I spoke to today say they were surprised. They wish Canada Post would have gone to, say, a twice-weekly home delivery service first. And as the people who most use the post office, they are outraged at the cost of a stamp going up. They say they may not be computer savvy, but they know when they're paying more for less. All right, Stephanie Sherlock reporting. Stephanie, thanks. You're welcome.